Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is problem set three in factoring polynomials. 11 and 12 here, picture on the screen, are um, trinomials that need to be factored. And first, let me just double check here that you understand. Um, cross that out, we don't need that. Um, when we factor trinomials, you're gonna have a binomial times a binomial, okay? And the idea is it's the reverse of the FOIL method, okay? So FOIL means take the first term there, multiply it by the first term there. That's the F in FOIL. O is the outside. And that's the outside, the first term in the first binomial, the second term in the second binomial. And I'll put arrows here. All right. And it makes a nice little picture when we're done. The I in FOIL are the insides. And that is the second term in the second binomial and the first term in the second binomial. Okay? This will all make sense, believe me. And FOIL, L is the last. So the last term of each binomial. Okay? Now, it kind of looks like a face. All right? So when I teach this, uh, the FOIL method especially, talk about making the smiley face. Okay, it looks like we got two eyes up here, kind of a nose being made here, and then we got ears and maybe a chin or a, a mouth there. So it kind of looks like a pretty little face. All right, but you notice how you have two parts in each. Okay, binomial times a binomial. So we're going to take that concept and factor number 11. Let's take a look together. All right, x squared is an x times an x. There's only that way to make x squared. And 15 could be made a number of different ways. You could say 1 times 15, you could say 5 times 3, or 3 times 5. Okay? So what we have to do is match up these things here in certain combinations to make sure if you use the FOIL method that it'll all work out. Well, the first part's easy. If I put an x there, I have to put a single x there because x times x is x squared. All right? Now the key is looking at the middle term. All right, how do I get a 2x? Well, the idea is, and it's very simple, is that the middle term is made from the i multiplication and the o multiplication, okay? Now if you do it in the order I did it, it's the lower part of the foil smiley face, all right? So what we have to do is we have to match up these two things here after they multiply out, and we have to get what well, these two multiply out, okay, the inside and the outside, and we have to get a 2x, okay? Another clue here is that this is a negative 15. So we're gonna have to have opposite signs. Now this all takes practice, okay? It sounds pretty complicated right now, but after you do it repetitively, you'll start to see some really easy patterns and it'll be a lot faster for you. So. I actually end up subtracting my two middle terms here. And so I need to figure out a combination that gives me two. And notice that the three and the five, if it's subtraction, is gonna work, okay? Um, I want a positive two X as a middle term, and so I'm gonna make my positive term here the five, and my negative term the three, okay? Because on the inside, I get negative three X, and on the outside terms, I get positive five X, if I'm going to combine those together, I would get the positive 2x middle term that I wanted. Okay, So it's kind of um, a lot of practice and a lot of trial and error. So my final answer is going to be this set of binomials. Okay, Now I'm not going to be spending that much time explaining the rest. Basically I want you to try it on paper. This um, one right here is k squared, so we know we have to have a k and a k. 
Notice how it's a positive third term right there. So that means either this, um, these both are negatives or these both are positives inside these binomials. It's a negative middle term, so there's your clue. You're going to have to have both as negative. Okay. So what factors of 30 multiply to give you negative 11 when we add them together? All right. Well, I already can think of a negative 6 times a negative 5. So let's try that. All right, now if you try a 2 and a 15 or a 3 and a 10, that's okay, try it, but you'll notice that this will work. So k times k is k squared. Negative 6 times k is negative 6k. Um, that's the insides. The outsides are going to give me k times negative 5, so that's negative 5k. And of course, when we add them together, we are going to get the desired middle term. All right, so there's your final answer k minus 6, k minus 5. All right, now I'm going to flip the page. You hit pause and you try them on your own. All right, so you're going to make your uh, parentheses for your binomials, and then you're going to be looking at the factors of the third term and try out some different combinations. All right, now go ahead and hit pause and give these a try. And ignore number 16. We'll deal with that in our next video. All right, you try it right now. All right, how'd you do? Well, in the first one, number 13, is going to be k minus 6, k minus 3. Okay, you notice that this negative 6 times a negative 3 gives you your positive 18. Okay, you got to double check your signs there. And the inside ones give you these two middle terms. And when you add them together, you do get your negative 9k middle term. All right, number 14, k and k. And again, it's a positive third term, but a negative second term. All right, you notice how negative 6 times negative 1 gives you your positive 6. So your sign there kind of is a little clue. And you want to get negative 7k for your middle term, and that comes from the insides and your outsides which will give you negative 7k. And finally, number 15, it's going to be a minus 3, a minus 4, and let's double check. Again, notice that you have a positive third term, so it's a negative and a negative, and you want a negative middle term there, and so you're going to be adding together a negative 3a and a negative 4a. All right, tune in to the next video, and we'll be getting into some special cases. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.